Last week, I approached a fairly serious subject unlike anything I've been willing to tackle so far on YouTube. This is important because, as an entertainer, I have an obligation to be funny, but as a person, I have an obligation to further the debate. I don't know why I feel that way, that's just what I feel. This is five things and God. So it's with much trepidation and hesitation that I bring up this week's subject. I don't know if theme weeks are here to stay on five things, but this is five things and this is five things. This is five things. <laughs> Two summers ago, Alicia Pez and I were in a band called The Hittits. That is a play on the name of the town where I'm from, yeah, Lidditz. And we sang a song about cats. Colin, who wrote the song, had three cats. Alicia and I also had three cats at the time. We're down to two now, we're cutting back. But we're still cat people, which means that Shmo Yoho songifying the eHarmony Catwoman video, epic win. I really love cats. Yes, this video is fake. Kara Hartman is an actress, she's a comedian, but that doesn't make the video any less funny or the song any less catchy. I really love cats. But I cannot every cat. Sorry. Now, obviously, I can't talk about cats all day. I do have other things to talk about. Um, I like drum videos. Hang, throw me that notebook right there. <sighs> okay. Drum Zach Drums is a YouTube channel that features drum covers, like Bed Intruder. Yeah, he's pretty good, right? And nothing going on with cats there. Ah! 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 Harry Potter comes out next week. It's kind of a big deal. Alicia and I love Harry Potter. And cats in Harry Potter. No! So Vance sent me this this morning. Stay. I love Harry Potter, but there's some really rather silly, nonsensical, and just f***ed up shit in those stories. His name is Cayenne, and he has a few problems with Harry Potter. In Harry Potter, putting the word wizard in front of anything makes it sound instantly magical. Wizard chess? Wizard banking? Wizard Nutella? It's just a bit of a lazy way of making things sound more exciting than they are. He's not the only one. Here's a pretty funny article from 11points.com that documents all the reasons that Quidditch kinda sucks, including the fact that whoever has the best broom clearly has an advantage, and no one is going to be playing this game in their own backyard. But I digress. Cayenne is in the YouTube Next Up contest, and his entry is fantastic. Cayenne? Yeah? What are you doing? I'm supposed to be doing a scene. What does it say on the script? Uh, interior pub. I'm not doing it justice by just showing this little clip. Please follow the link in the info and watch the whole thing and then vote for him. It's brilliant. You just wanted an excuse to use this shot. It's a good shot. It's not. I mentioned Ein Astronaut on a previous video. He's German, he makes video songs, and they're brilliant. <laughs> And I mention him again because if you play an instrument or you sing, he wants you. So if you're a musician and you've got some time in the next one and a half months, just send me an email and telling me your name and the country you're from and the instruments you would like to record. I'm going to be submitting for this and if you play something, you should too. The last time he did this was in December and he did a Christmas song that had 33 musicians, 160 audio tracks, and over 70 video layers. I was watching the latest Pomplamoose video last night and I'm amazed that they don't get more views on their original songs. But then there's guys like Ein Astronaut and Project RNL who barely have more subscribers than I do. And their videos are way better than mine. Way better, no arguing. There, I got through one thing without a cat. 
Every so often, Ray William Johnson shares something that's pretty awesome, and I think he single-handedly doubled the view count of this video yesterday. His name is Jonathan Park. He's Korean by way of Argentina, if I'm understanding the lyrics correctly. In the song, he thanks his mother for supporting his dream to be a rapper and putting the interests of him and his sister before her own. Supported as a beam because I knew she had believed. If it were up to me, she'd be treated like the queen. A life of luxury filled with shiny, pretty things. I mean, of course, he spends some time talking about the shorties, too. Shorty was a 10, she was chilling with her friends. I was trying to be smooth, but I couldn't pretend. But it's a great song, great production on the video and with over 300,000 hits in three days, I think he's a little closer to getting there. Tell me, baby, are we there yet? That's it for five things this week. I want to apologize for the sore throat. Thanks for being nice about it. You want to do the show next time, smartass? Good. I'll see you next week.